staying with us. Today I got the honor to meet a talented group of friends who have made their filming hobby into an online platform for pranks, skits, and social experiments. This is Dead Cat TV. Check it out. Dead Cat TV is a local YouTube channel made by a group of friends that has skits, pranks, and social experiments on the community of Aruba. Here is Michael Anthony Fowler telling us more about it. We got started because of my friend Leo. He came to me and he told me like he wanted he showed me a video and then he was like, um, you know what, let's make videos kind of like this, but with like a Peruvian or uh, Criollo twist to it. So we started Dead Cat TV with the first episode was a Ikibosa episode. And in the Ikibosa we did, um, we went around in the main street, we asked questions and they were mostly tear questions. And um, yeah, after that, the first video, we got uh, a lot of views. So we decided to make more videos. And then people slowly started liking us and then we, you know, we started doing skits and uh, pranks and stuff like that. Besides their popular Ikibosa videos, they do pranks, music video parodies, skits, and they have a lot of new ideas coming up. Recently, they joined with the police force of Aruba to do social experiments to evaluate traffic accidents on the island. A recent local article stated that 700 traffic accidents happen a month due to unexperienced drivers. So they stop drivers to find out if they can still remember their questions from their driver's exams. Although Dead Cat is much like international parody channels such as College Humor or BuzzFeed, they still always keep a local twist to all of their videos. For us, the twist is the cultural involvement in the videos. We use the Arubian culture in some of the videos to add like the twist to it. So like um, in the Ikibosa, we use the um, questions about Betiko or about our Arubian money or flag, things like that. And um, yeah, lately we've been making skits. One of them is uh, Pancho. It's written by a fr close friend of mine, uh, Efraim Odor. And um, his idea was to use like complete, like use the total Arubian the old Arubian vibe to it, like an old man, but that really in this Arubian type of, um, I don't know, culture. You can say. The only thing holding this group of youngsters back from being on TV is that all of their funding is coming from themselves. They are very thankful for the sponsors that they do have, but they are hoping to gain more in the future to be able to give top quality every single time. Well, recently me and Leo Maduro and Dan Peterson, the founders of Dead Cat TV and the producers of the whole, the whole Dead Cat idea. We've been planning on targeting TV because online our views are amazing. We have about 60,000 total views and that, that's incredible. Our Facebook page has been getting a lot of hits. So we feel that if we can target the TV, we can maybe make our target group much more bigger than it is currently. Right now our target group is mostly between the youth, the 18th to the 24th. And our, the acceptance of our show has been amazing and when I say this I speak for the whole Dead Cat crew which is a really big crew currently that we are thankful for the support up until now. The whole Dead Cat team we actually invite everybody from Aruba. Um, you can check us out on Dead Cat TV on, the fa on Facebook. You can check us on YouTube, Dead Cat TV, or on Instagram, Dead Cat TV 297. This young group of buddies hopes to one day make their program a weekly television show. To check out their humorous videos, you can visit their Facebook page, Dead Cat TV. Thank you so much for watching. These were your local news updates and trending lifestyle topics. Don't forget to like our 15 on 15 Facebook page.